In the previous lecture, we added the background, and as you can see, we can see it right there, but it's not taking the whole space, okay? It's just on the, as you can see, on the top left right here. We don't want it here, we want it centered. So, we need to do a little, uh, a little fix. So, bear with me, go to the GameViewController.Swift, and right here, there's a bunch of code that's already written when you create a blank project. We don't need all of this, okay? So, um, let's go ahead and remove the stuff that we don't need and add the stuff that we need, okay? So, all this unarchive, we don't need that. So, all this class, just select this and we're going to remove that, okay? We don't need the extension, the whole thing right here, okay? Remove that, all right? And we're going to create the new scene, okay? So, remove that part, we don't need that and we're going to create a new one, okay? And we're good to go. So, in the view did load under super.viewDidLoad, we're going to create our new scene. So, let, oh, let me put it here under this. All right. Let SK view is equal to self dot view dot, I'm sorry, not dot uh, as, and we're going to put as SK view. Okay. So, we're creating a, a sprite kit view and there's a space right here. Okay. Sprite kit view. And now what we want to do is say sk view dot show fps so the frame per second okay shows fps we're gonna say equal to true okay so we want to show the frames per second now if you don't want to see them just put false here okay and then sk view dot show node count shows node count is equal to true okay if you don't want to see that again you can just put false here and then sk view dot ignore sibling order is equal to true okay now let's create the, the actual scene press enter a couple of time and do let scene is equal to and put the name of the scene now the name of the scene is right there it's called game scene it's equal to game scene okay that's the name of the file right here and uh, we're gonna instantiate it with a size put size sk view dot bounds dot size basically we're taking the whole space okay the whole space of the iphone simulator and do sin dot scale mode is equal to and put dot aspect fill okay now this should work here let's see all right dot aspect fill which is self dot aspect fill so it's going to fill up the the, the room and, and keep the aspect and then now we're going to show it so now we are displaying the view that we just created okay how do we do this we do sk view dot present scene and obviously the scene that we're going to present is the scene we just created okay all right now let's press play and see this in action And there we go, perfect now. As you can see, the background takes the whole space. We're good to go. Now, you only had to do this once, and we don't have to do this for the rest of the images, okay? Now it's gonna be all smooth. See you guys in the next lecture.